What's going on guys, Jay Wower here and we're back with the road to glory with Sunderland AFC. Let's get straight into it. Newcastle already secured a playoff place, six games remaining. We are five points clear of Middlesbrough who are throwing it away. We however have been pretty good. Um, since we were here last time, we where were we? Stoke in the FA Cup. Was it Swansea and Stoke? I think it was. So we drew against Hull, drew against Ipswich, lost against Reading. It was falling apart, viewers. It was absolutely atrocious. But then three on the spin. And yeah, we are looking good for promotion. Or the playoffs, should I say. We don't, I don't know if we'll quite go up. But we're looking good for the playoffs. So today's doubleheader, Preston and Newcastle. Uh, Newcastle's televised, of course. So that's why we're here. Televised matches and all that. Um, and then... It might be wrapped up by the next doubleheader. So what I'm considering is I'm considering calling the episode there, then maybe coming back and doing another episode here, and then maybe skipping over these if we're already there, or maybe just doing one of the games if we need to, just to secure the points and just like confirm the playoffs. Um, not decided, but we'll play it by ear and we'll see how we go. But first up, it's Preston North End. Um, we don't want to count our chickens too early because last time we played someone at the bottom of the table, it was Birmingham City, and we lost. Uh, I just need to quickly do the team. I do apologise. I completely forgot to do this, so I'll cut now. And there's the team. It's going to be the team that we're going to be playing today. Oh, I'll get the summary twin in the inbox. I can't be bothered at this stage of the season. We want to save some players for the Newcastle game. The Newcastle game is going to be big. I don't think we can do much. I'm going to bring Pritchard on for Shipley just because Pritchard's been moaning that he wants to play more. Jay Rodriguez... Um, Patrick Roberts. Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to go with this team. Go with the youngsters on the wings. Barr and Janet, who have been decent in the last few games. You know, they're coming up with assists and goals, so trust them. Honestly, Lewis Gibson, get out of my club. He's doing my head in. Frank Lampard, every other day is on whinging. Why is he not playing? Why is he not playing in centre-back? He is playing centre-back. Okay, he's on ball playing defender role. So what, Frank? And here comes the highlight. Luke O'Neill. Last in Donker. Come on, boys. Whip it in. Janet. Divine. Richard. Over to Nian. And he whip it in. Marriott! Jack Marriott is playing for his live... Playing for his livelihood at Sunderland. Rumour has it, he's just bought a house in the North East. He doesn't want to be selling that. He doesn't want to put that on right move. He wants to stay put. And he's doing the right things in order to make that happen. 1-0. Jack Marriott. Birmingham are all but gone here, if you look at the league. Eight points off the pace. With five games to go after this one. Whips it in. Pritchard. Knots it down. Janney. Oh, Janney. Come on. No. Derek's nudged off. Derek. Oh, Gibson with a fantastic block. Maybe all is forgiven, Gibbo. Lars Dendonka. Come on, Bar. He's got the pace. He's got the pace. Set the bar. Oh, a dozy. All he can do is hack him down. Yellow card. Right. Get dribbling at him. Attack him. Get the ball. At half time, I'm going to instruct to play down the right. And I want Bar to dribble more. He's probably already on dribble more, to be fair. I don't want to dribble even more than that. Attack your man. Get him sent off. I mean, we don't really need him to be sent off, to be fair. I'm just waffling now. 1-0 still. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Nervy moment. Nervy moment. Matete. Lars Dindonka. A great ball to the goalkeeper.
Yep, yeah, not very happy at that, Lars. He's playing well though, so probably keep him on. Want to keep people fit for the Newcastle game, although Lars should really be playing against Newcastle. He is the first choice defensive midfielder. Janny. Divine. Go on, Divine. Go on, Reese. Janny. Into Dendonka. Down to Reese. Janny. Richard. Can he whip it in? He can. It's got there. Jack Marriott. With a second of the game. Take that for sale sign down, Jack. He's staying. For now. He's, he's at the point where I don't think I'm actively going to try and sell him. But I am looking to bring in another striker. Johnson Clark Harris, it would take a big bid for me to sell. Uh, Jack Marriott, any bid, and I'd probably sell. Um, you know what we're saying? We've had a lot of shots on target so far. So I'm happy. And they love it. Of course they do. Tactics. He's got, he's got driven more on already. You know what? I don't think we need to um, instruct to play down that wing as such. We're 2-0 up. We're comfortably winning. Let's not change anything. It's up to them to make a, uh, make a change and make a difference. I like to begin the second half straight away. Down back to Pinsoglio. Lee. To A. Whips it in. And Dozy. Oh, Anthony Scully. Maybe we do want him sent off. Um, yeah, not, that's not the way we wanted to start the second half, gang. Rubbish. Very disappointing. Luke Onian. Mitete. Onian. Into bar. Ooh. Gibbo. Lars. Bar. Onian. Yes! It's his first of the season. It's questionable goalkeeping from Pinsoglio, who has got one of the best names I've seen in a long time. Pinsoglio. Very satisfying to say. Bar. Whips it, well, passes it across. And Nian. And yeah, the goalkeeper should be doing better for me. But when you're in the relegation zone, that kind of stuff goes against you. Okay, Jay Matete. I'm going to bring you off, buddy. The simple fact that I want you playing in the next game against Newcastle. Who else do I want playing? Uh, I would like Derek to play. So, Deza, off you come, buddy. And everyone else, I'm reasonably happy with not playing. Oh, Lars. Yeah, I guess get Lars off. Triple change at the hour mark. 3-1 to Sunderland. Where are Middlesbrough? Drawing against Blackburn. Big game for them. That'll be six points clear with five left. I'd like to think at that point we would have be pretty much certain to get there, but we have got Newcastle next. Not an easy game and we're probably going to drop points. Anyway, this game's still not finished yet. Lee. Forced us problems down this wing before. Into Endozi. Endozi. Get him sent off, ref. Get the ball down to bloody bar. Let him run at him. Hughes. Whiteman. Potts. But, well, whatever his name is. Lee. Flashed up too quick. Too many syllables and too many obscure letters. Definitely a Z in there. They hit the bar, the crossbar, not the quadro bar. Yes, we're still going with that joke, gang. Quadro, Wadders. We're absolutely dominating. Look at this. We've only had one shot on target. Richard, it's the bar. You know which bar is it? The crossbar. And I'm going to praise the team. They loved it. I want to praise you like I should. 
Marriott, fantastic. Quadwo, Luke O'Neill. Going to be a bit of praise coming their way from this. Why have I, why have I listened to Jermaine? Why have I listened to Jermaine? Jamie Tete is unhappy because I said don't get complacent. Jermaine's bad at team talks, let me tell you, gang. Um, he, he has the wrong advice, and sometimes I just naturally just click it. Because you just, you know, when you're not paying attention, you're trying to sort of talk to the camera or whatever. You're just easily led. Right, Middlesbrough won, 80th minute. So, five points the gap. Five points the gap with five games left. If we lose to Newcastle and they win, it's going to be very, very tight. Anyway, let's give Marriott some praise. Jackie Mazza. Uh, I'm going to praise uh, Luke Onian as well. Uh, praise last game. He scored a goal, didn't he? Why not? Oh, Bath sort him out. Good. Bath sorts him out. Nice hot bath. He's back again. Frank Lampard. Um, I can't risk the balance of the team. I, okay, I understand the position you're in. Nice talking to you. I hope to see you again soon. You will see me again soon because you're a prick. Don't leave me alone. Feels he should be starting more games. Only oh, Anne. You, saw, you talked to Bath. Oh, I've discussed issue with Bath. Oh, a convenient excuse. No, we are in fantastic form and you're not good enough, Danny. I'm going to back down because by the time I fail on that promise. Oh, God. Oh, shit, please, having a whinge. He's encouraged because I've run out of word with him. Jordan Shipley. He's played 22 times, 16 starts this season. He's been decent. I would sell him in a heartbeat for one and a half mil or something. Absolutely. He's, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a crowded central midfield player. They can all go to the 23s. Carl Winchester. I think alone sounds sensible. Right, I'll try and ensure your importance to the team is recognised. He's a squad player. He hasn't played anywhere near enough for being a squad player, to be fair. I just don't care. Harry Madiemi. He's gone to Bayern Munich. Wow, look at this. He's at Bayern Munich. Okay, John, oh, Jack, I'm sorry, mate. You're going to come off, but it's with a heavy heart for the first time this season. Paddy Rob, Patrick Roberts, um, right, Jay Rodriguez. Where are they, there, mate? To Janny, uh, Quadwebar, Chris Mockery. I'm going to bring, um, I will leave him there. Everyone else, I'm quite happy with it, except Elliot Embleton. Get Elliot on for Pritchard. Oh, and where's Sirkin? Dennis Sirkin and Jim Ashley. Hello, Jim Ashley. Oh, there he is. R. Bennett. R. Bennett. All right. That is the team gang for the game against Newcastle. Is that the bench? Dan Neal is a better player than Chris Mockery and he's got more sharpness. Uh, Niall Huggins. Uh, so we've got who's going to play? Who could play on the wing? Quadwo could play on the wings. Oh, I'm going to bring off Alex Pritchard and put Janney there. So now we've got a couple of players for the wings, a couple of players for centre. Carl oh, Winchester, who could play a bit of everywhere, and then Gibbo. Um, who wants to play more games? Danny Bath. Giving him a fair amount of playing time. 
Yeah, maybe not against Newcastle, but maybe the game after. Which will be off camera. Well, gang. We're back, ready to play Newcastle. The evening kickoff. Everyone else has already played, and look here Nottingham Forest have. Well, they've beaten Middlesbrough. Swansea can only get to 79 points. The lowest we can finish is 7th. The lowest we can finish is 7th. We can't physically beat Newcastle. We can't go up as 1st. We can only get to 95 points. This is, they've just done me a favour, Forest have. Let me try and do them a favour. Come on. Come on. I don't care. I believe in you, Lars. Dig deep. Dig deep, buddy. They all seem motivated, and they should be. This is the biggest game of the season for you guys. Rodriguez. Embleton gives it away. Joe Willock. Daniel Amati. Look at the players they've brought in. Bemba, Bruno, Bruno Guimaraes, St. Maximin, Callum Wilson. I mean, this is a joke of a team. How they're not already up. Oh, oh hell, we'll be, we're behind within six minutes. Callum Wilson has scored what is probably about his 48th goal of the season. I'm going to encourage them. They love the encouragement. They love the encouragement. Come on, guys. Come on. Very little's happened since the goal. Matete now. Embleton. Patrick Roberts. Patrick Roberts off the crossbar. I'm going to go bold. Fortune favours the bold. Lars is booked. And he's not doing great. Jack Marriott. You've earned the opportunity. Target forward. Clark Harris, Jack Marriott, an advanced forward. Everyone else, as you were. Come on. And now we're going to give him a little bit of encouragement to start this second half. They all love it. it well, they don't all love it. Most of them do. Frustrated by the feedback is Jay Matete. Everyone else is fired up. Right, now I'm going to demand more. I don't know whether that took before this highlight started, so I'm a bit annoyed. Perisic is now arrogantly just marauding down the wing. Patrick Roberts brilliantly wins it. Embleton now. He's got two up there. He's got two to aim for. He picks out none of them. Oh, now they're going to counter. Perisic. St. Maximum. Bruno Guimaraes. Joe Willock. Jan Kuto, Willock, MRT. Win the ball back, guys. That's it. Oh. Put pressure on. Embleton, Clark Harris. Oh, Clark Harris, get up there. Six foot four. Penalty. Derek. Of all the people to let me down today, you were not one of them that I had banking on. Can't even talk and make coherent sentences. Joe Willock took uh, Joe Willock. Callum Wilson scores his forty seventh goal of the season. Wasn't far away when I facetiously said forty eight earlier in the game. Two 0 Demand more. Some of them love it. Some of them don't. You know what? Quadro and Saiku. And they're coming on for the for the experienced boys because they've played well. And Patrick Roberts and Jay Rodriguez are doing sod all. Zirkin, Marriott. Oh, go on, Rodriguez. Might have to cancel those changes. Oh, maybe not. Matete, Roberts, Clark Harris, 
Come on now. Embleton, Matete, Rodriguez. Into Marriott. Jack Marriott. Come on. That for sale sign is coming down. Yes, to proceed with the tactical changes. Clark Harris playing rubbish, right. I'm going to encourage them. I'm going to encourage. They love it. They love the encouragement. Come on, lads. Come on. Last 15. Let's get something out of this. It's the last, last time we're going to play him for a couple of years, most likely. A, even though we're probably going to get in the playoffs, don't feel confident we'll go up through them. If we do, it's going to be a monumental challenge next season. But that, more about this game. St. Maximum, come on, win the ball back. Come on, bit of urgency, guys. Bit of urgency. Oh, what are they doing? They press them. Clark Harris bundles the ball away. Janet. Janet. Embleton. Quadro bar! Oh, he's put it wide. Quadro. Oh. And that's the end of the game. We've lost 2 1. Disappointing to lose to their rivals. Absolutely. We're sixth in the championship, guys. We have got four games left. We are five points clear. What we're going to do then is I think what I'm going to do now, yeah, is I'm literally going to call the episode, call the time on this episode here, and then we're just going to come straight back for the Luton Coventry game as a double header, and then maybe spill into the Millwall game if required uh, for the playoffs so thank you very much for watching like the video subscribe to the channel take care and i will see you in about five seconds